Hey guys, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. This is probably my third video today, but this one I couldn't wait. I can't, uh, I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, this video is dedicated to four YouTubers. Um, a couple of them asked me about it, and a couple of them gave me the idea. This video is in response to one of my other videos where I talked about an old spinner rack I used to have as a kid. And I, uh, at the time, I took the spinner rack and I opened the crawl space of the, my house and I jammed it underneath the house and I just wanted to get rid of it and hide it and I sealed it back up and it sat underneath the house. Since then, the house has been sold, uh, moved out. This was 30 years ago. The house has not been in our family for 30 years. So 30 years ago is when I put this spinner rack underneath the house. A couple of you, AFTA Comics, or after comics and uh, Charlton 66 asked me uh, about the spinner rack and if it was still in my possession um, and this video is dedicated to them and then a couple of you Metarog and Luther Manning asked, told me I should go over there knock on the door because the house is not too far away explain to them uh, what's going on and see if you can't if it's still there so me, I was like, well, what the heck, you know, let's give it a shot. So I shot some footage, and uh, we're going to go ahead and cut to that so you can see what happened, okay? All right, so roll the footage, and you guys will find out, <laughs> so stupid, what happened. All right. <laughs> uh, right now, I'm across the street of the house I grew up in. I don't know the owners. Um, I don't even know if they're home, but I am going to make my way over there and try to somehow explain that there could be a comic book spinner rack below their house, and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, this should be kind of fun. I don't even know if they're home, you know, if not, I'll come back and try it again. But anyway, let me turn the camera so you guys can see the house. Give me a second there. Uh, let me raise it a little bit. Sorry, guys. It's going to take me a quick second to set this up. I'll, pro I'll try to edit it. Okay. Okay, so that's the house. So I'm going to go over there and uh, give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Alright, hey guys, so I went ahead and edited this footage so you guys don't have to sit through uh, just me walking around. Um, so I sped a little bit of it up and stuff so you can see exactly what's going on. So I'll just provide you with a little bit of commentary. Um, I haven't been up to this doorstep since 1996, so it's kind of neat to go and take a look. So right now I'm just ringing the doorbell. Um, there's actually wasn't any cars in the driveway, so I didn't think anybody was home. Um, I'll just speed it up there. And it looks like I think somebody just answered the door right now. And I'm trying to explain, and I made myself into the house. Uh, the lady was fantastic. Uh, I told her, comments with Bueller, I do a YouTube channel and kind of explain to her what I was looking for. So right now I'm in the house and I'm looking looking around and she let me look underneath the house and uh, you know to see if it was still there. Um, hopefully uh, you can see the door opening right here. And as that truck goes by, you can see an image emerge from the door holding, yes, <laughs> the spinner rack was underneath the house for the last 30 years. She was fantastic. She thought it was just hilarious um, to hear what was going on. And she was more than happy to let me take a look. And she actually knew exactly what I was talking about. She said her husband saw something underneath the house one time and they had no clue what it is. All right, so I'm making my way back into the car so I'll let that take over. Okay, so you can see behind me is a spinner rack from my childhood. The lady at the house was super nice. 
she let me in. I, I crawled underneath the house. Um, you know, like I always say, it never hurts to ask. And uh, lo and behold, I can't believe it. Uh, a memory of your childhood comes back. And uh, it's just awesome. I haven't been in that house since 1996. I'm out of breath because I'm fat. But uh, I got my childhood spinner rack back. And uh, I'm pretty proud of myself. And I can't say thanks enough to uh, the lady at the house. She was fantastic. And uh, thank you so much to her. Um, all right, guys. Okay, so this is my childhood spinner rack that has been missing for almost 30 years now. It's now back in my possession. Uh, it's just awesome. I'm just smiling, you know. Just, I haven't stopped smiling since I crawled underneath that lady's house and found it. And she helped me pull it out. And we had to bend. It's a little beat up. It's bent. Yeah, but I can bend it back, you know, a little bit. Uh, but to think that uh, this was something I picked up, you know, when I was like 10, 12 years old. And I lost it, you know, and now it's back with me and it'll be on display and I'll be putting some great books in here and fixing it up a little bit and just to have it back is just uh, awesome. Uh, it never hurts to ask people just remember you know just uh, people are good you know just try to be kind and uh, you know people will notice that you know that your goodness and stuff so uh, it worked out uh, awesome so anyway guys I wanted to share this with you Thanks again to the YouTubers that uh, um, inspired me to do this. It paid off big time. Spinner Rack, Comics with Beeler, awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye.